that spills there. That's a lot of blood. That's enough to probably be fatal, I think. So I just made it to the location. This actually isn't the building that I wanted to start this video in. I'm actually walking towards the building. I didn't even know this one was abandoned as well. But these are all hospitals. And I think there's another hospital behind this one on the other side. Purpose of this adventure is to get inside, explore, and I wanna be able to do another video, but a nighttime exploration of this huge place. Look at this. Asociación de Función Número Uno. I don't even know if I could go inside. So I just walked up closer here. And uh, I didn't really realize it. But if you look right over here to the name, 1998. So I was literally eight years old. It says Abortantes. That means abortions. And this whole area here. That means this hospital here was used for primarily abortions here. I really want to see if I could go inside and explore it, but it looks to be chained up from the front area. Let me keep looking around. If not, I'll probably just go to the other hospital. This is the hospital that I have planned on going to. And I also want to come here at night. But as you can see, there's homeless people on the floor there to the right. I don't want to record them and be rude, but look at this. Let me see if I can find another area. To the very front there's a lot of pants and clothing here so I'm making my way inside the building now look at this and look what I found someone picture someone's heart or lung but that's their chest for an x-ray the thing is is that this place gets really really dark <laughs> But there's also times where I'm hearing footsteps, so I don't know how safe this place actually is. Hear it. The thing is, is that I could hear a lot of voices of people talking, but I don't know if it's coming from outside or inside the location. There's a whole second floor too. I'm gonna save the second floor for as soon as I finish the bottom floor here because there's a lot and this looks extremely messy. Oh, those are some of the patient beds. That's a bathroom. This area here kind of gets me a little nervous. Because look how dark it is. And you could also tell, oh my God, look at this. All that is just paperwork from patients. Look at this. It looks like an old filter. Probably for like an oxygen thing or tubing that filters the air. Or maybe something else. Probably says it on the bottle. Outlet Pietro Bennett Omni Filter. See? Omni Filter. There's just x rays all over the place. There's x-rays all over the floor. <sighs> what 
oh wow, they look like they're already in the place that's abandoned. And the guy looks like a CEO or some sort of executive. That looks like here, but exactly how it is. They have pictures of babies, like a prenatal care area. This is exactly where I'm at right now. Well, not exactly, but that's something very similar to where I went into. That's the homeless on the outside. Someone's jacket. See, these are all bad signs that uh, people could be living in here. But look at the size of this place. And the thing is, you could just walk right inside. I know you see wooden panels everywhere, but the door is wide open. Just walk right in. That's the old elevator shaft. Right in there. I'm making my way towards the other side now. Oh, holy shit. Look at this. That is blood. I'm hearing people outside. But look. And that looks like dried up blood. It's even turning black at some points here. Yeah, I think that's blood. Oh my god. How do you get blood on the walls like that? See, that's already turning black here. And it spills there. That's a lot of blood. That's enough to probably be fatal, I think. Or no. I don't know. I. It looks like a dangerous bleed, though. Seems to be like an oil spill. Right over here. Look. So if that's the oil spill, look over here. There's two different type of footprints. That one. They keep on going up. I definitely hope they're out by now. Looks like a dog. What the hell is this room? Look at this. Right around here. These are all burnt. Paperwork. But mounted onto the wall for some reason. Why would they mount up burnt paperwork? And they're just copies, there's nothing written. Well, this one has something written. It looks old too, slightly stained. Look at this. Let's see if I can kind of go through here. That's the area I just went from. I've never seen before. It's like a crazy person went in here and just did all this. And the windows are all covered in a red cloth-like material. Check this out. In this room, there's a whole bunch of chains on the wall. I'm not even for sure why. Like, I'm not sure what these chains were holding. At one point, that one's falling apart. But look at that. And over here doesn't seem to be anything, just a bunch of junk. See? I'm gonna keep making my way to the other side of this wall here. 
I want to stay away from the window area just for my own safety. Pavilion, partos, urlas, abrigarderos, de garro, botas, y mascarillas. All right, so this is an area, if you see right here, this is where pregnant women used to come to, and they wanted you to wear masks and boots. And that's what this whole area is for. Look at this. It looks like there's medications all over the floor. See the floor? It's a whole bunch of vials and stuff. All right. Something else I just found out too. Whoa. There's a downstairs floor as well. Right over here. Oh my god, this is just a piece of wood. Please do not fall. I thought that was concrete. That is the bottom floor. It's probably a morgue-like entrance in there. Probably gonna be saving the bottom floor for later. I don't even know if I'll do it for now, but that looks extremely dangerous. And so does these floors. All right. Making my way upstairs now. Look at that, there's three floors up there. But all the side rails are gone. What is that? Outside window. That looks like a surgery room. Look at this. What the heck was that? That's outside. I'm not sure if that was one of the windows that moved, but for a minute that sounded like a kid. <laughs> Threw me off. surgery area. Oh, oh shit, look at that. That's a big door, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to kind of get in there. I don't know if this is like a viewing area for the babies or what. They really leave me. Look at the size of this thing. That looks like it was holding all those lamps and stuff when you would be on the surgery table. Or maybe that's an x-ray machine. Cause look at the size of this door. Looks like it's built out of like aluminium or something. Or something where the radiation doesn't pan. It, this could be an x-ray room. Area sucia, area limpia. That means dirty area and clean area. It's just, it's just wood. found some urine samples. If it was me, I would need a bigger cup. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Jesus Christ, every time I'm looking at something, I just can't tell if they're coming from inside or outside. And I'm making a ton of noise. Check out the size of this place. This looks like a cafeteria area where people used to eat. Oh, what the hell is this? Look at this. It's a whole bunch of medications on the floor. Look at that. Oh, somebody was higher than a kite in here. Look at that. They literally went through everything. They took every drug in the hospital. So back in the day, this hospital used to be the biggest hospital here. I mean, this place was huge. And uh, there has been a lot of sightings for paranormal, a lot of things moving around. I've already heard a couple of things. Something weird too, I'm noticing. If you look at the floor, there's drag marks. You see it? They go all the way up there. Let's hope that's not a body. But yeah. But it does look like this whole place caught on fire. Let me use my other light. See? No elevator. I don't even know where the elevator is there. There's a lot of yelling. I don't even know what that noise is. stuff like this here than I do in US. But here it looks like they practice it a lot. I'm gonna look over here. It's like a rare occasion when you see it in the other states. I don't wanna talk too loud. There's another one upside down cross there. That's interesting. Hey, if you guys know a B3, Leo, whatever this means, you know, that one has an I in the center. I've seen one with a cross upside down and now I see one with an I. A cross in the bottom. Jesus, there's so many pentagrams everywhere. Pentagram, that's a bad sign. Pentagram. Uh, huge pentagram. And another pentagram over there. At this point now, I'm going to start recording the third floor area. I have yet to go up there. I think that's a neonatal care. I feel like this is a children's hospital. <laughs> like the whole place, I've been seeing nothing but kids and babies. Check this out, the doors are closed. Look how high I am. Springs on. That looks like that was dragged. Looks like this 
whole area just got caught on fire. I'm gonna switch to my other light. There we go, this is much better. Whoa, look at this. That's the elevator that was up on the floor, right above my head. Damn it, jump inside. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I would not do that. That would probably be the end of me. Oh, look at this. There's something shiny down there. It could probably be glass. I'm walking down. And I just found some really old rotten food. Oh, that is disgusting. And I am hearing noises as well coming down here. Hijo de Satan, that means the son of Satan. Jesus. And check this out. Actually, it looks wet. That could be blood or something else. But there's a six, probably representing 666. And there it is, actually. That's the other one. That's the other one. Sorry, I gotta watch my corners here. What the fuck? There is literally no airflow in here. And the store just opened. Hola. There's literally no airflow in here. Oh, look at that. Not only that the door opened, but look what's behind it. just open when I said son of Satan 666 this door look there's another star on the inside I am hearing so many noises hola I'm gonna go inside On me. I'm actually gonna close it. I'm gonna ask it a question here, see if it does it again. Can you open the door? Tu puedes abrir la puerta? That was actually horrifying. No airflow, no nothing. The door just opens. Satan? Say, say, say. Hijo de Satan? Tas aquí? I just heard a whispering. Satan, I shouldn't be saying that. Hello? Si alguien está aquí, abre la puerta. If somebody's here, open the door.
I have goosebumps right now. I feel like something's peeking out at me. And I can't see it, but it could see me. Gracias. Yo me voy a seguir, seguir uh, caminando. Thank I want you guys to see, I'm gonna put the camera in there. Nothing. Nothing all around the door. <clears throat> At this point now, I'm gonna keep walking back down here. That door that I just saw moving has yet to move, so I'm gonna be moving past it. There's like pentagrams at every... Gaka room. <laughs> Come on, I got a door moving. It's so weird, I feel like people are just coming out of the rooms. What the If I had a feather, I would show you guys that there's nothing. ¿Yo puedes entrar? Can I come in? to drop my phone right now. Jesus Christ, it's daytime. I feel like I'm gonna run into something bad. I get that weird feeling now. And Hola. What's crazy is that all these doors can move and only random ones are moving. This looks interesting over here. Whenever you see a door close, you wanna be very careful. There's a bunch of mosquitoes. I'm not sure why though. If you listen closer, you could probably hear them. There's something by here. I don't know what these mosquitoes are eating, but there's a lot of them. Oh, I'm gonna keep this door closed. It's just an empty room. They're even kind of bleeding out here. Or they came out a little bit. Look, oh, that's the outside area here. See? That looks interesting over here, but there's a big gate separating from this side. And if you look, there's another abandoned building up there. 
I just don't know if I could get over there. Every now and then, as you're exploring this place, you could hear what sounds like footsteps of somebody walking. And then when you go to check, there's nobody evident. What is up, guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, I ended up cutting the video kind of abruptly there. In the middle of recording, I thought I heard what sounded like people going up the staircase. And so I kind of just got out of there as soon as I could so that way, you know, I made it out with all my equipment just in case because you never know who's going up. But I am thinking of going back there at night and doing a nighttime paranormal investigation like a through on through. Smash that like button if you guys want me to do that. And until then, I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.